Unside with the Sevens in Hong Kong, a very special edition of The Wraparound, as we say a very good evening to Sean Maloney. It's The Wraparound, and here's Shorty. Hello, team. Well, something a little bit different tonight. We're coming to you from the stunning pool deck, the Four Seasons Hotel in Hong Kong, and I've got George Gregan and Brian O'Driscoll to help us through The Wraparound. How good is this, fellas? Doesn't get any better than this, the big Shawnee. Doesn't, Doesn't get, any, get better. any better than this, mate. A little bit of tanning to be done here. It's not <laughs> really panned out that you way. Got I got a lot, lot of tanning today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm glad you sent George over the far side. It's kind of an immediate here. <laughs> hey, uh, before we get to it, what about the dancing that you got that you laid down? Do you like the, that? It's good. I've been taking lessons from Michael Flatley for years, so eventually, you know, pays off, and I got to show my wares. It so. shows. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Hey, Greg, you dance like that? Maybe Sunday night. Yeah, just need some work, but it was. Inspiring, really inspiring. <laughs> Fancy footwork and just held held the form. A few winks and a few few nods of the head, wasn't it? I actually Dicko? looking forward to well, obviously the shake of the head, but when the camera actually does pan on them in the, in the stadium, I can't wait to see what you have for us. I'm on the fan cam. Now uh, before we jump into the wraparound, what about the weekend's action? How did you how did you get through that? Stunning day of Six Nations. Unbelievable, unbelievable. It was with high stress levels. Um, I just, I think everyone thought after the Welsh uh, Italian game it was a done deal, and then when Ireland came back, and then then it was a done deal, and then the game against the England France game was just sitting on the edge of our seats. I was at home watching with my folks and my sisters, and uh, just it was incredible. All right, let's you get couldn't a look. have scripted it. You couldn't have scripted it. Should we get a look at some of the action let's from the weekend? Let's, let's kick it. off the wraparound. I'm going to start it in Edinburgh. What about Jamie Heaslip's try saver, Brian? Yeah, unbelievable. As it transpired, it was hugely important, and it's something that coaches absolutely love. Don't give up on lost causes. And, um, you know, you, you, you look to the England game later on, and that was an absolute vitaler. Speaking of the England game, sure, I can't believe it. Speaking of the England game, Courtney Laws, George Gregor, look out! Oh, put a bit of pressure on the number 10. And how about your ribs? Did you need those? Did you need anything? Whiplash, oh my goodness. When he commits, he commits 100%, Courtney Laws. Do you know what? Teams are going to start working that out because he just hunts them down. And if I was a 10, I wouldn't care where the ball goes. I'd just be getting rid of it early and getting out of And assume play. the position. <laughs> assume the brace position. Speaking of assuming the position, look at Scotty Williams go down in Italy. That's Wales going coast to coast. A sensational try. Unlucky for the Welsh. Not enough points in the plus column. Not a bad day's action, but let's go to Pretoria now, shall we? Yes, indeed. Let's go there. Have you ever seen a try score like this, Brian O'Driscoll? Again, coaches love an old chase and a kick-up that comes off the post. They don't love when you're stripped like a baby <laughs> of your candy, and that is the <laughs> only way. But it, Michael Foley looked excited about the he score was happy. anyway. He was yeah. happy. Well, <laughs> Smile, Foles! Foles wins the Smile! Let's stay in Pretoria and have a good one for you, Griggs. Uh, something I'd say might have happened to you once or twice <laughs> in your career. So Adam Coleman challenged. Charging up the park, and uh, well, Greg, what do you reckon is going to happen next? The big number three is about to eat the ball, potentially. Well, <laughs> well yeah, he probably could stomach it. Speaking of getting stomach, what about Abby Matthews? He goes 40 minutes back the other way. Put it in reverse, <laughs> put it in reverse. Oh my goodness, that's got to be a negative stat. That would have to be a negative stat. <laughs> Minus 40 run meters for Matthewson. Not bad, not bad. Let's get a look at uh, Tavita Kundrani from the weekend, showing the whole caboose at the SFS. If you have it, get it out there, you know. <laughs> it looks like a, a fresh wax job there in my eyes, but, you know. Powerful listen, seat. It's oh, where goodness. the power comes from. Show it for the, world, for the world to see. Speaking of powerful runners, the main at all, 125 kilos, big bopper, silky skills, though. Here's his try against the Cheetahs from the weekend. Peace of mind here, isn't it? Just on the edge, and before you know it, look at Blink of an eye, he's got it on his foot, hasn't he? It was barely in the hand and then bang onto the left foot. Left foot, right foot, whatever. It's a long way down for the big fella, too. Just drops it in there. Here we go again. Like a Cirque du Soleil act from the big fella. <laughs> Great skills. <laughs> Mix the power with the finesse. Nice. But hang on a sec. I think I reckon I've seen those skills before. Have you? Yes. Where have you seen them from? Oh, could be some bloke. You may have some Brian guy. What's his surname? <laughs> Hard to say. Let's get a look at it, though. You talk me through this. Oh, and look then... at this. Boom. Over the top, too. Is that game? That's everything. It's football, it's rugby. Peace of mind knows where the try line is. This bloke could find the try line. From Classic. 125 kilos to 85 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> and what are your recollections of that try? Because that's, that's regarded as one of, well, it's one of our favourites back in, uh, back in Oz anyway. Uh, 
what I do remember is I wouldn't say Jeremy Staunton at full back covered himself in glory with, the, with his efforts on the bravery front when he came in and I just had a swipe at it and over it goes. <laughs> oh, mate, that is unreal. Some of the best, uh, some of the best we've seen. So that's us all done and dusted on the wraparound. How did you enjoy that? It's fun. It was fun. I've seen, I've seen a good bit of it. You have? Yeah, you're, you're as good in the flesh as you are on the, on the screen, so fair play. <laughs> I'll take it. Hey, what do you reckon? Should we take him out for a couple of dumplings, my shout? Oh, definitely dumplings, and we just wash it down with whatever. Probably just a couple of waters. Righto, folks, we are, <laughs> we're all wrapped up here from the Four Seasons in Hong Kong, and it is time now to enter the Vortex.